sixth grade, module two, lesson 13, classwork. Example one, divide 70,072 divided by 19. Estimate, so we're gonna start with an estimate. I'm gonna round 70,072 to 70,000. And 20, or 19, I'll round to 20. So I can do 70 divided by two, and that is 35. I'm going to cancel out two zeros, and I have one two left. So it's e my estimate is 3,500. B, create a table to show the multiples of 19. So let's start with 1. 1 times 19 is 19. 2 times 19 is 38. 3 times 19, so let's just do 38 plus 19. We can just keep adding on 19. So 8 plus 9 is 17. Carry the 1 is 57. 4 times 19. So let's add another 19. 7 plus 9 is 16. Carry the 1. So we get 76. 5 times 19. So plus another 19 is 95. 6 times 19. So 114, 7 times 19, so let's do 114 plus 19, it's 133, 8 times 19, it's 152, and 9 times 19, is 171. C. Use the algorithm to divide 70,072 divided by 19. Okay, so we're going to use this chart up here. It's going to be helpful with this. So we want to see how many times 19 can go into 7. Well, it can't go into 7, but it can go into 70. If we look up here, 4 times 19 is 76, so that's too many. So it can go in 3 times, which is 57. So 3 times 19 was 57. If we subtract, we get 13, bring down the 0. So now we want to know how many times 19 can go into 130. So let's go back to our multiples chart. Well, there's 133, so that's too many. So it can go in 6 times, which was 114. We subtract. 16, bring down the 7, so 167. See how many times 19 can go into 167. So 171 is too big, so it can go in 8 times, which is 152. Bring down the 2, and then 8 times was 152, so it can go in exactly 8 times. So our answer is... 3,688. Example 2. Divide 14,175 divided by 315. So we're going to estimate first. I'm going to make this 15,000 and we'll divide it by 300. So we can do 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Then I'm going to cancel out two zeros each. We have one left, so it's e my estimate is going to be 50. Use the algorithm to divide 14,175 divided by 315. Check your work. So let's do 14,175 divided by 315. So we could make a multiples chart like we did before, but I'm just going to go ahead and estimate. So 
315 can't go into 1, can't go into 14, can't go into 141, so we need to see how many times it can go into 1,417. And I'm going to guess, let's see, 300. I already know that my estimate's 5, so it's probably going to be like 4, 5, or 6. Let's start with 4. So it's 20, carry the 2. 1,260. If I added another 315, I'd be over 1,417. So it can go in four times. And that is 1,260. Now I subtract. I get 157 left over. I'm going to bring down the 5. So how many times can it go into 1,575? I bet one more time. Probably five times. So 0 plus 5 is 5, 7, 5, 1. Yep, it can go in 5 times. There's no remainder, so I get 45. And if we want to check our work, I'm going to do that. We can check it by multiplying. So we can do 315 times 45. Make sure we get 14,175. So start with 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, and 5 times 3 is 15. Put my 0 down. I'm going to erase the 2. Done with the 5. On to the 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, and 4 times 3 is 12. If I add it together, I get 14,175. So which is what I was dividing by, so it does work. Exercises 1 through 5. For each exercise, estimate and divide using the algorithm. Explain your work using place value. Okay, so let's first estimate. So 484,692 divided by 78. I'm going to make this 480,000 divided by 80, because I can do 48 divided by 8. So 48 divided by 8 is 6. I'm going to cancel out the zeros here, and then I have 3 left. So my estimate is 6,000. Now we need to actually divide. So. to 484,692 divided by 78. Okay, so it can't go into 4 or 48. We need to see how many times 78 can go into 484. So let's see. 78 is pretty close to 100. 100 could go into 4, 484 four times, so probably can go in like four, five, maybe six times. Let's try 78 times five. Eight times five is 40, carry the four. 35 plus four is 39, 390. So we can probably go in again. Let's add another 78. Yeah, 468. So we can go in six times. We subtract, that's a 7. 14 minus 8 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So we get 16. So what we actually did there was we did 484 thousands divided by 78, because this was 484,000 divided by 78, and we got 6 thousands. Notice how this 6 right here. The 6 is in the thousands place because we still have the hundreds, tens, and ones. So that was equal to 6 thousands. Okay. So keep going. Let's bring down the 6. So now we want to see how many times 78 can go into 166. But remember, this is actually 166 and this is in the hundredths place. So we're going to do 166 hundredths divided by 78. 
Let's see how many times 78 can go into 166. Probably about two times. Let's try 78 times two. It's 156, so it can go in two times. We get 10, bring down the nine. So 166 hundredths divided by 78 was equal to two hundreds. Because notice this two right there is in the hundreds place. Okay, so how many times can 78 go into 109? Well, that's just going to be one time. So we did 109 tens, because that's in the tens place, divided by 78 was equal to 1 ten. So there's a 1 in the tens place. So if we multiply it and subtract, we get 31 and bring down the 2. So now we have 312 ones, because we made it all the way to the ones place, divided by 78. Um, let's try 78 times 4. It's 312, so it can go in 4 times with no remainder. four ones. So we get 6,214. Okay, number two, 281,886 divided by 33. So first we're going to estimate. Let's think of something that we can divide evenly. So I have a three here and a 28 there. 28 divided by 3, I can't do what I can do. 27 divided by 3. So let's make this 270,000 divided by 30, because then I have 27 divided by 3. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. These zeros can cancel each other out, and there's 3 left. So my estimate's 9,000. Okay, so now let's do the actual division problem. 281,886 divided by 33. Okay, 33 can't go into 2 or 28. What about 281? It's probably about 8 or 9 times. So let's try 33 times 8. Got 264. Um, it probably couldn't go in another time, but let's just check. Yeah, 297 would be 9 times, so it can go in 8 times. So again, we need to say what we're doing. So we did 281 thousands. We divided it by 33, and we got 8 thousands. right there. Okay, we need to borrow. 11 minus 4 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the 8. So now we're doing 178 hundreds because this 8 is in the hundreds, pl hundreds place divided by 33. So 33 can probably go in Let's try six times. That's too big. I'm going to subtract 33. One hundred sixty-five. So we can go in five times. So this was equal to five hundreds. Okay, bring down the 8. So now we have 138 tens that we're dividing by 33. Let's look at back at the problems we've already done. So 33 times 5 was 165. So I bet it can go in 4 times. So let's subtract 
132. So it was equal to 4 tens. And we've made it to the ones place. So 66 ones divided by 33. So 66 divided by 3 is 2 ones. It can go in twice. So our answer is 8,542. Hopefully you're getting the hang of the place value stuff that we're doing. Okay. 2,295,517 divided by 37. Let's estimate first. So again, I'm looking for something like 22 divided by 3 I can't do. Um, let's see, I could do 24 divided by 4. So why don't we make this 2,400,000 divided by 40. Again, you can have a different estimate. It doesn't have to be the same one that I'm doing. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. Cancel out these zeros. And I have 4 left. So my estimate is 60,000. Okay. I'm going to need some space for this one. So we have 2,295,517 divided by 37. So it can't go into 2 or 22. It could go into 229. Sorry, 37 times... See, our estimate was 60,000, so let's just try 6. See if it starts with a 6. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22, so 222 is really close to 229, so that's perfect. So what we did first is we had 229 ten thousands. divided by 37 and we got six ten thousands because notice that the six here is in the ten thousands place okay let's keep going so let's bring down the five so we can't do or we can't do so 35 can go into 75. Let's see how many times. Or 37 can go into 75. Probably twice. Yep, it's 74. So what we did is 75 thousands divided by 37 was equal to 2 thousands. All right, now we have 37, can go into 15 zero times. So what we had was 15 hundreds. We divided it by 37 and we couldn't do it. So that was zero hundreds. So let's keep going, bring down the one so now we have 151 tens that we're going to divide by 37. Let's see if we have any. So times 6 was 222. Let's try times 4. 7 times 4 is 28 to carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14, 148. So we can go in 4 times. So this is equal to 4 tens. We get three left to bring down the seven. So now our final one, we have 37 ones divided by 37 is equal to one, one. So we get 62,041, which is close to our estimate of 60,000. 
Number four. 952,448 divided by 112. So let's estimate. Let's see, I'm just going to make this 1 million divided by 100. Oops. So we would get 1 divided by 1 is 1. Cancel out some zeros, and we have 4 left. So my estimate is 10,000. Now let's do the problem. So 952,448 divided by 112. So it can't go into 9, it can't go into 95, it could go into 952. Um, let's try about, let's see, 100 can go into 900 about 9 times. So let's just, let's try 9. Nope, oh, that's too big. So let's try eight. Eight hundred ninety, so it can go in eight times. Oops. I did that wrong. Let's try again. One hundred twelve times eight. Eight times two is sixteen. Carry the one. It's eight hundred ninety six. So what we had was 952 thousands divided by 112. Gonna subtract, and we got, sorry, I didn't finish up, eight thousands. Fourteen minus nine is five. So let's bring down the four. So how many times can 112 go into 564? Let's try probably four or five. Let's see if five's too big. 560. Oh, it can. Okay. Okay, so we did 564 hundreds divided by 112, and we got five hundreds. Okay, now we're bringing down the four. So we have 44 tens divided by 112, and 112 can't go into 44, so that's gonna be zero tens. bring down the 8. So how many times can 112 go into 448? Probably 4. Yep. You go in 4 times. No remainder. So our last one was 448 ones divided by 112 and we got 4 ones. Okay, last one. 1,823,535 1, divided by 245. So let's make our estimate. I'm going to do 1,800,000 divided by 200. So I can do 18 divided by 2 is 9 Cancel out two zeros, and there's three left. So my estimate is 9,000. Okay. 1,823,535 divided by 245. So it can't go into 1. 245 can't go into 18. 245 can't go into 182. So how many times can 245 go into... 1,823. My estimate's 9,000, so I'm going to start with 8. Let's 
5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 is 19. So that's a little bit too big. So let's do 7. 5 times 7 is 35, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So it can go in seven times, which is 1,715. So what we just did was 1,823, and that this three right here is in the thousands place. So thousands divided by 245, and we got seven thousands. Okay, let's keep subtracting. So 13 minus 5 is 8, 1 minus 1 is 0, 8 minus 7 is 1. Bring down the 5. So we now have 1,085. The 5 is in the hundreds. Divided by 245. Okay, so 245 can go into 1,085. Let's try four times. 245 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 980. So we can go in 4 times. So this is equal to 4 hundredths. And let's subtract. 115. And let's bring down the 3. So 1,153 tens divided by 245. Let's see if we already have the answer somewhere. 980. Let's try is pretty close to 1,153. I doubt we can add another one, but let's just be safe. Yep, five would be too big. So another four. So that was equal to four tens. So three minus zero is three. Five minus eight, we can't do. Can't borrow from the zero, so I need to borrow from the one. That becomes zero, this becomes 10. That becomes a nine, so that I can make this 15 minus eight is 7 and 9 minus 9 is nothing. So we get 73 left over and I need to bring down the 5. So we get 735. So our final step is 700, oops, not 53, 35. Ones divided by 245. Do we have 735 yet? Nope. My estimate is 3. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So it can go in 3 times with no remainder.